Diagnosing silica-related disease early is crucial for preventing further lung damage and accessing available healthcare. In this video, we'll discuss the key tests involved in diagnosing silica-related disease, particularly in the lungs. Chest X-rays are commonly used in health monitoring for detecting signs of lung changes caused by silica dust exposure. X-rays create images of the lungs, helping to identify any abnormalities. One of the key indicators of silica-related disease on an X-ray is the presence of nodules that can be seen on an X-ray. These are areas of thickened tissue in the lungs, or the pleura, which is the lining around the lungs. Plaques can also be an early sign of silicosis, but it's important to note that their absence doesn't necessarily mean you are free from the disease. In some cases, silica-related disease may be present even if nodules are not visible on the X-ray. This is why further testing, such as a CT scan, is often necessary for a definitive diagnosis. While X-rays provide an initial look at the lungs, a CT scan is the gold standard for diagnosing silicosis. A CT scan offers a much more detailed image of the lung tissue, allowing doctors to see smaller abnormalities that an X-ray might miss. This scan can detect scarring or fibrosis in the lungs, which is a key early indicator of silica-related disease. The scarring can develop even in the early stages of the disease, making the CT scan an essential tool for early and accurate diagnosis. The presence of fibrosis on a CT scan confirms the diagnosis of silicosis. This scarring can be widespread or localized, and its severity can help determine the stage of the disease. Fibrosis often leads to a reduction in lung capacity and increased breathing difficulties over time. Obtaining a CT scan to formally diagnose silicosis is not only important for managing your health, but is also crucial if you need to proceed with any legal action. The CT scan provides definitive evidence of the disease, which can be necessary for compensation claims or legal proceedings related to workplace exposure. In addition to X-rays and CT scans, other tests may be conducted to assess lung function and rule out other conditions. Lung function tests, in particular spirometry, is a common test to measure how well your lungs are working. It assesses the amount of air that you can inhale and exhale, as well as how quickly you can do so. Abnormal results mean that your lung capacity is affected. Blood tests may be done to evaluate your overall health and check for markers that might indicate other conditions. These tests are helpful in ruling out other causes of symptoms similar to those of silica-related disease. In some cases, a bronchoscopy might be recommended. In this procedure, a doctor uses a long, thin, flexible tube with a camera to look inside your lungs while you are under anaesthetic. It can be used to collect tissue samples or get a closer look at any abnormalities detected in other testing. The diagnostic process for silicosis involves several steps, starting with regular screening and sometimes more detailed tests like CT scans. If you've been exposed to silica dust, it's crucial to stay vigilant about your lung health and to participate in screening, even if you feel fine. Early detection through these diagnostic tools can help manage the disease effectively and prevent further lung damage, ensuring a better quality of life. Additionally, a formal diagnosis with a CT scan is essential if you need to pursue legal action or compensation for your condition. <laughs>